Hello students, welcome back. I hope you're having a fabulous week. This is Accounting 1329, Payroll and Business Tax Accounting. I am Dr. Mercado, and I'm super happy to be here with you today. Now this lecture is not going to be like our traditional lectures. This is more of an informative lecture of just what we're gonna be doing this specific week. Um, now during this specific week, we are gonna be completing uh, test number two over chapters three and four. Okay, so it is very important that we annotate the due date of the test or the time frame as when it's available. That way you don't miss it, as I will not be granting any extensions or makeups for the missed extent. Okay, now let me go ahead and jump over to Blackboard, which is where we have all of the content for the week. Okay, let me go in there. Um, and uh, I have posted the review for the test this week. The review was made available since last week. That way you can start preparing. Um, I did send out a Blackboard or I posted a Blackboard announcement informing students that if they had any questions, they could get with me last week. Uh, this week, while the exam is open or available, I will not be answering any content related questions. Now I did have, or I do have a lot of videos that I've uh, recorded and uploaded into Blackboard each week. Uh, please refer to those videos. Some of the problems in your test are covered in those videos. So that way you can have for guidance. And also, um, if you completed your Cengage assignments, um, the solutions to the Cengage assignments are available in Cengage, uh, along with the feedback so you can go back, review, and prepare, okay? Do not attempt the test unless you've reviewed these specific problems, okay? So the second test is over chapters three and four, and it's gonna be available from Monday, March the 8th, 2021, at 8 a.m. all the way through Thursday, March 11, 2021 at 11 p.m., okay? So during week number eight, which runs from March the 8th through March the 14th, this is the last week before we break for spring break, okay? So after this week, we have spring break. There's not gonna be any classes next week. Uh, there's not gonna be any homework assignments next week in spring break. So before you go on spring break mode, we need to do the test, okay? So it's important that we complete the test during the allotted time frame, which is Monday through Thursday, okay? Uh, students are gonna have two attempts to complete the test and I keep the highest grade earned. Remember to please use a computer with a reliable internet connection, that way you don't encounter any technical difficulties. You have three hours for each of the attempts, okay? Uh, now it's only over two of the chapters that we've covered, chapters three and four. So it's very specific to those areas. Um, we are gonna have something similar to problem three six, which deals with computing OASDI and HI taxable earnings and OASDI and HI tax for employees as well for employers, um, OASDI and HI tax. That's gonna be worth 15 points. You're gonna have something similar to problem 313, which is to complete a form 941, which is the employer's quarterly federal tax return. That's gonna be worth 15 points. Then you're gonna have something similar to problem 315, which is to complete a Schedule B, Form 941. That's gonna be worth 15 points. Then you're gonna have something similar to problem 45, which is to complete a company's payroll register. That is worth 20 points. Then you're gonna have something similar to problem 46, which is compute gross amount of, uh, for an issuance of holiday bonus. That is gonna be worth 10 points. And then you're gonna be working on problem, uh, something similar to problem 412, which is to complete federal deposit information worksheets, complete a 941 federal tax return, and complete employer's report of state income tax withheld. That is going to be worth 25 points, okay? So you're gonna have six workout problems combined. Those six workout problems are worth 100 points. That is 10% of your overall grade, okay? Please give it your best. I know you all can do this. Uh, go back, review those homework problems, re re uh, review those lectures that I've posted so you can ace this exam. And then next week you all get to chill out and just enjoy your spring break, okay? Now, the objectives covered in chapters three and four for the purpose of the course learning objectives is to prepare related tax forms. So there's a variety of tax forms that are gonna be completed in this test, including the 941, the Schedule B, the different uh, deposit information worksheets, uh, the state income tax report. There's a lot of uh, items that are included to cover this course learning objective, which is to prepare related tax forms, okay? so. 
the assignments you have two assignments one of them is mandatory which is the test that is not optional that is mandatory it's part of your grade that is worth 100 points and that will be available monday through thursday only okay so mark your calendars okay and then during this week i have also provided an extra credit assignment which is optional that is due till sunday um, it is optional but i highly encourage that every student complete the extra credit assignment because i don't want you coming at the end of the semester until asking me for extra credit because i'm not going to give any okay i give my extra credit assignments during the semester if you wanted to complete them then you complete them and you earn extra points if you don't then you don't but at the end of the semester i'm not giving any extra credit assignments okay so this is an opportunity to earn extra credit points now if you do the extra credit and you don't get a good grade on it it's not going to hurt you okay the extra credit points are only going to help you and you can earn um partial points so this particular extra credit assignment, you have the potential of earning up to 30 extra credit points. You can earn half, you can earn 25% of the extra credit points. It doesn't really matter. Let's say you earn 10 extra points out of the 30. Those 10 points are going to be added to your total overall grade at the end of the semester. So if you had 790 points at the end of the semester, which is a C, and you completed this extra credit assignment and you earned 10 extra points, that's going to take you up to 800 points. So you're going to go from earning a C to earning a B. Okay. So if you're borderline, this is going to help you. Okay. I don't curve. I don't give extra credit assignments at the end of the semester. Okay. So it's up to the student to earn their points. Okay. And I do provide those opportunities. This is one of those opportunities. So please take advantage. Okay. Um, so these are the two links for the two assignments that you have. The test is the first. This is a priority. You complete your test. After you're done with your test, you might begin working on your extra credit assignment. And like I said, give it a try. You know, whatever number of points you earn are better than zero. Okay. So that is what's going to be going down on week number eight. Okay. Um, so we have those two assignments that are going on. Um, if you have any questions related to about what is due or anything of that nature, please contact me Monday through Friday. Um, but I will not be answering any content related questions. Miss, how do I do this? That time has passed. Those questions should have been answered last week or the week that you completed your homework problems. Okay. So um, that's what's going to be going on this week. I want to all wish you the best of luck on your test. Please study. Please prepare. Have good notes. Make sure that you understand how to complete all of these items before you sit on your computer and you start your exam okay and like i stated next week which is week number nine uh which runs from march the 15th through march the 21st we have spring break okay so there will be no classes next week there will be no assignments next week next week you all get to you know refresh you know reset that way we can finish the semester strong okay so that is basically it for this lecture for week number eight. I just wanted to provide you an overview of what's going to be going, uh, what's happening this week um, and ensuring that you are aware that the exam is only available Monday through Thursday. I don't want to hear miss. Well, I thought it was due on Sunday. Um, you know, it's on your syllabus. It's on Blackboard. And I'm letting you know in this lecture, the test is only available Monday through Thursday. So please mark it down. Um, and that's basically it. I hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your week and I wish all of you a safe, relaxing and joyful spring break next week as well. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.